The food supplement industry is the wild, wild west of the food system. You and I waste so much money trying to be healthy. Most of the things that promote our health are free or very cheap. The question is, why don't we do them more often? If I asked the most experienced PT in the world, where does whey protein come from? I'm not convinced that they would know the answer. The food system's broken, and I think a lot of us know this. What I want to talk about is the supplement food system. Three in four Canadians are taking vitamins or supplements. The big question is, what's in them? False claims, unknown ingredients, and potentially harmful products. Americans spend $40 billion on supplements last year. There is no requirement to have them looked at or analyzed before they go onto the market. We were making a film about Harold Creston. He's a local supplier of broccoli sprouts in Greystones in Ireland. When we had him at the studio, he wanted to talk a lot about the health supplement industry. This video is for you to get to know more about what the health supplement industry looks like today, what's wrong with it, how we can improve it, and what you can do to promote your own health for free, to make the nutritional decisions that are best for you and to live your healthiest life. Keep watching for Harold's five ways of improving your health for free. And spoiler alert, there is no wizardry going on whatsoever. I'm excited for people to go on this journey and I'm excited to share what's worked for me and let them decide. In theory, you're about to see magic in real life. It's been all time. I'm moving slow motion. Many people have heard about how broken the food system is due to subsidies, due to soil health, a lack of crop rotation. What I want to talk about though is something a lot more recent and that's the broken supplement space. At least with food, we can see the plant, we know where it's grown. In the supplement space, many, many large companies can't show you where the powder, the capsule came from. They can't show you whether it's actually bioavailable, whether you're absorbing it. I think we're going into too much. We need to like, what's the average person gonna be like, what, what was he talking about? The food supplement industry is the wild, wild west. We do not have sufficient traceability for many, many brands. We buy products for 10 times the price that we buy food with 10 times less traceability. And my question is when are we gonna start holding companies accountable for this? My name's Harold and I grow and deliver sprouts and real food supplements. Now I've spent two years in tech in the health and nutrition space, understanding the supplement business, an enormous business, 25 billion in the UK by 2025 alone, growing at 13% year on year consistently. I'm concerned that people are losing sight of how to trust and how to gauge what to buy and when. A supplement is a food designed, in theory, to supplement a healthy, real food diet. Logically, we want as much of our supplements as possible to come from real food, but just be consumed in a more convenient way. The moment we don't know where our supplement comes from is the moment we create a lot of exposure to ourselves and our health to untraceable, unsafe products, which we don't know the full effect of. This is a problem because we as humans look for quick fixes when actually we're spending a lot of money for things that are not helping and potentially harming our health. Meanwhile, free things are being neglected. And I want to ask us why? Why are we not asking more of ourselves and the companies we give money to? Why would we question the quality of tomatoes we buy in the shop for three euros? but not the quality of protein or multivitamin we spend 50 euros on. I think we all have our own narrow view of what health is, me included. What I'd like to see us do more is interrogate what are the specific things that have led to us believing that this is healthy for us and also for others and also for the planet. I'm asking them, 
to create the space every day to question their routine. What ad, what message, what video influenced that decision? And is it okay to question it and perhaps change it? The average person in the UK spends 800 pounds per year on supplements, yet does not question in the same way as they would with food, the quality, the origins of that. I think we have become seduced by the marketing messages of health supplements, abs, strong bodies, longer lives, and forgotten to hold not only the companies but ourselves accountable to whether this actually is health promoting and whether we actually agree with what we're consuming. So can you give me an example? Yeah. Um, an example that springs to mind would be whey protein. Whey protein is a waste product of the dairy industry, a genius invention because a multi-billion dollar industry has been created from a piece of cream essentially left over when we drain our milk. The waste product of the milk has become the most valuable health food supplement in many, many countries. But if I asked the average person, and in fact, if I asked the most experienced PT in the world, where does whey protein come from? I'm not convinced that they would know the answer. In the UK alone, the food supplement space is a $25 billion industry and it's only growing. Meanwhile, the traceability has not moved. Traceability refers to knowing where your capsule or your powder actually came from. The seed, the country, the quality of that seed, the treatment of the farmers there. I think we have become seduced by the marketing messages of health supplements, abs, strong bodies, longer lives, and forgotten to hold not only the companies but ourselves accountable to whether this actually is health promoting and whether we actually agree with what we're consuming. Seeing my parents buy products that promised health when they arguably were doing the opposite, I became seriously invested in rectifying this. And actually I've had a lot of encouragement from friends and family to make a supplement that they can trust. And that's what actually inspired the journey of making supplements from Sprouts. We actually made a video specifically when Harold is showing how to make supplements and capsules out of broccoli sprouts and how you can make your own supplements. If you want, you can check that out right here. If you click this video in search for a quick fix when it comes to health and supplements, and I'm not a health guru, but this is what Harold has to say about it. Five free ways of improving your health. For physical activity, bake movement into your day. For example, instead of taking the bus to the train station for your commute, walk. To remove toxic substances from your life, for example, alcohol and drugs, you can consciously create one social event per week that does not involve alcohol. For us, it's called Friday Nights at the Bar. It's a weekly workout on Fridays to encourage friends to come and train, socialize, have a laugh, instead of going to the pub. We do our own thing, and uh, it's a beautiful part of our community. Really grateful for these lot. And to improve the way you're eating, eat loads of plants, especially living foods. And to do that, grow your own sprouts. It's a whopper plant, an absolutely whopper plant, the broccoli sprout. To promote restorative sleep, those elusive eight hours we all want, creating something to do early in the morning that commits us to getting to a bed early is a fantastic thing to test out. It's 5.30 a.m. There's about 20 people here. <laughs> it's just fun. It's just so fun. And it, again, has to be sociable, has to involve someone else. And if you've got one of these, I've got no advice. For fostering strong relationships, I really recommend starting with people you encounter on a daily basis. Smile at someone, say good morning. It doesn't have to be everyone, but the power of interaction, the power of physical touch is something I really think we take for granted. Side note, the happiest, longest living people in the world hug several people per day. For reducing stress, simply sitting still and seeing that 10 minutes of meditation or breath work 
or simply listening to music as a medicinal activity, not a privilege, something you deserve to do and need to do in a world where our baseline of stress is so, so high. So what's the next step for fixing the broken food supplement business? Well, the first step is to consume living foods, the ultimate real food supplement, uh, and also lots of plants. Again, food is a supplement, right? Beyond this, create real food capsules. And more importantly, showing people how to do that themselves at home with a dehydrator, using a small capsule machine to do what we've done locally with the sprouts and teaching people how to sprout themselves with capsules, with the supplement space, and hopefully creating a very small revolution of urban supplement farmers. I wanna create an environment, or be part of creating an environment that promotes easy, cost-effective ways to live a happy, healthy, and more fulfilled life. So if somebody wants to copy the sprouts or the supplement business, do not be afraid to reach out. I mean every word, get in my DMs and let's have a chat. As long as we can have that healthy debate, I wanna to chat to everyone. It's a wrap. Woohoo!